My name is Dr. Salsing, and I've put together some information that I think is going to be very helpful in your chiropractic journey. This is information that I've gathered over the last 27 years by traveling around the country and by working with thousands of people in that time frame. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to learn more about your health and healing, but more importantly, for the journey that you're starting with your chiropractic care. I started this journey 27 years ago after a car accident. I didn't know the first thing about chiropractic care, but it was that first adjustment that changed my life. And I'm hoping that with the experience and the knowledge that I give to you guys, that it will actually help you and your families. So get ready because the information we're going to share with you tonight is life changing. It changed my life and I'm hoping that it will do some benefit for you as well. There's a few words that I want you to know before we even get started. The first word is called subluxation. And what that means is that the bones of the spine are protecting the spine, but they can actually cause some interference if they go out of their normal alignment and put pressure on the nerves. That interference causes our bodies not to work at our optimal best. And by getting adjusted, it actually helps with that. Another word that's important is innate intelligence. That's your own body's intelligence of how it actually heals and how it actually takes care of itself and regulates itself. For example, if you have a cut in your arm, you don't have to really think about it, but it'll actually heal itself over time. Or if you break a bone, it'll mend on its own. That's your body's innate intelligence. And that's something that is important in chiropractic for you to know is that we don't do the healing as chiropractors, you do. In fact, chiropractors don't heal anything. All we do is we allow your body to heal itself by finding those areas of interference so your body can work at its optimal best. Chiropractic care is the art, science, and philosophy of optimal lifelong healing and vitality. Did you notice one thing about that? We didn't say the word pain or for correcting pain. It's for our bodies working at its optimal best, and when our bodies are working at its best, that can actually deal with pain as well. Like many doctors, we find in our practice that stress is a big factor in people's ability to heal. If you have too much stress, the body won't heal at its optimal best. Stress is one of the reasons why our muscles get tight and why we can't sleep and why we just don't feel good. And a lot of that has to do with your nervous system. So if your nervous system is out of balance, then your body's gonna be out of balance. So think of chiropractic as nerve doctors rather than bone doctors as we restore and renew your nervous system and get it functioning at its best. Is it possible for somebody to be happy but being accumulating stress in their body? Think about your own lives and think about the stress that you may be under right now. Traffic, COVID-19, bills, bosses, kids, we can go on and on about different things that are actually stressful to our bodies. Some of the foods that we're eating, our water, our air can be stressful as well. So actually it's impossible to remove all these stresses from our environment. So we need tools so that we can actually reduce stress in our own bodies. One thing that you can do starting right now is be more aware of your posture. Posture is the window to your spine and nervous system. And if your posture is poor, then your health will be poor, and these adjustments are not going to hold. So how do we know if we have good posture? Well, we can't see ourselves from the side. So we're going to use this illustration to show us a few things. The first thing is the head weighs about 12 pounds. So if your head is over your shoulders, this is how you take a lot of that tension and stress off of your neck. But you'll notice people out there, as you look around, have their heads forward like this. And the more forward your head is, the more stress you get into these muscles here. You can see that here, how that could be as much as 32 pounds, up to 42 pounds, just by having the head position. Imagine the pressure on the spine and the nervous system and the muscles. Have you ever noticed that you can get a lot of tension and tightness in these shoulders? A lot of that has to do with posture. If we look at an x-ray of the spine on a side posture, let's see what we get. You can see here in a normal that the head is over the shoulders, but you'll also see a curve in the neck. That bend right there is about 30 degrees and that's for normal healthy biomechanics of the spine. This person here, you can see they've lost some of the curve in their neck and this person has absolutely no curve. 
The goal here is to bring the curve back into the neck, get the head back over the shoulders, and that's where we're gonna get more of the correction and for the patient to feel a lot better. And that's what some of the tools that we do here in our office with the traction that we do and the adjustments that we do as well. Mental, physical, and emotional stress alters the alignment of the spine and causes your adjustments not to hold as well. So I'm gonna encourage you to look at tools that will help you to deal with the stress in your body so that we can get you adjusted so your adjustments will hold better. You should be eating about seven servings of fruits and vegetables a day, and I know that's a lot. But what I do and what my family does is we use a Vitamixer and we'll put our spinach, our kale, our broccoli, some berries in there with some protein mix, maybe some yogurt, almond milk, and we'll make a smoothie out of that. And that will be our breakfast and we'll get a lot of our nutrients right off the bat in the morning. I encourage you to try that and if you need some recipes, just ask and I'll give you some great ones. As you go through your chiropractic journey of healing, there are some foods that are going to support your healing and get you feeling better quicker, and there are some foods that are going to work against us. So let's talk about those. There's actually four foods that you want to try to avoid as much as possible. The first one is actually fried foods. The second one, milk products. Third, red meat. And fourth is sugar. So what are the foods that are going to help you heal and be at your optimal best? Remember this acronym, G-BOMB. G is for greens. The greens that I'm talking about are your kale, your broccoli, your spinach, basically your dark green vegetables. Why is that good for you? Because it has calcium in it. And that calcium is very absorbable and there's a lot of fiber in it as well. The next one is beans. Beans are a source of protein that we need for our bodies. If we're cutting back on some of our meat products, beans is a great source of protein. Onions. Believe it or not, onions, mushrooms, both of those are really good for your healing and keeping you healthy. After your berries is nuts and seeds. I like to eat raw seeds and nuts. That gets you more nutrients and it'll fill you up and it's going to help you with your protein intake as well. So that acronym, G-BOMBS, along with staying away from the four food groups is going to be important in your journey to wellness and optimal healing. So how much exercise should we be getting a week? The United States government says we should be getting 150 to 300 minutes per week. If you divide 300 by seven, that's 42 minutes a day. Now, how many of us are actually getting that much exercise? But that's what the government's recommending for us to be at our optimal best. Now, if you combine just something as simple as walking, along with good nutrition, in your chiropractic care, one plus one plus one does not equal three anymore and actually equals 20 for the amount of benefits to your health by combining all three of those. There's some things that you need to know that are very important about your care. The first thing is that we need to get you into the office about three times a week. Why would I need to get you in that often? Your adjustment only holds for about 24 to 48 hours before your spine has a tendency to want to kind of shift back to the old position. Why? Because it's used to it. So when we get you adjusted and then you leave, what can happen is that you go back to your old position. And we already know that's going to happen. And that's okay. So when you come back on your next adjustment, we'll check everything. We'll get everything back in good alignment again. And we'll continue this process until your body starts to accept the adjustments hold the adjustments longer, and your problem becomes solved at that point. Many of our patients after that first initial month will start to drop down to twice a week and then rapidly down to once a week. At once a week, you're still getting a very powerful adjustment. It's just lasting that much longer. So once you finish with your corrective care, a lot of the patients that come here go into wellness care. Wellness care is what I'm doing, what my family does, what a lot of the people that you see here do. In fact, a lot of the people that you see here have been coming to this practice for the last 27 years on a regular basis. And you might think, well, why would they need to go to a chiropractor? They must be really sick. Actually, these are some of the healthiest people that you would meet. Why? Because their nervous systems are working at their optimal best. What kind of people get regular chiropractic care? Well, people that really care about their bodies, elite athletes, movie stars, People that use their bodies a lot and people that are older that want to have that youth and feel younger and be able to do more. Let's take a look at a model of two vertebrae, 
Imagine taking these two vertebrae from a spine like this, and we're just looking at the anatomy here. What we see here is that there's bones that are actually protecting the yellow. The yellow here are actually nerves. The nerves attach to your brain, they go down your spine to all the different areas of your body. For example, in your neck, there's nerves that actually go all the way down to your hand, and in your low back, these nerves will travel down to your legs. But these nerves travel literally everywhere in your body, and there's billions of them, all communicating with your brain. But what can happen from poor posture, poor sleeping habits, old injuries, that these bones, instead of staying in their normal alignment, can actually put pressure on the nervous system and cause an interference where the body isn't communicating to the brain as well and the brain to the body. That interference can result in pain, as many of you might experience, but it can also result in other things. For example, some patients will tell me that they're more moody or they have difficulty concentrating or trouble sleeping. These are very common when there's interference in the body. What the chiropractor does is identifies the areas of interference and removes that interference with something called an adjustment. Once that adjustment's made, then that communication is restored and the body can start working on healing itself naturally. But what can happen if this has been here for a while, the muscles have a memory, the bones have a memory, and they kind of go back to the old pattern again. That can take anywhere from 24 hours to 72 hours where everything can kind of go back out of alignment. And we already know that more than likely, depending on your history, that's what's going to happen. So the chiropractor will realign it again, get things back in good alignment, but we already know it's going to happen. It's going to want to go back out again. So what we want to do is give you the stretches and the exercises to go along with your adjustment so that you and I working together, we can get this back into the proper alignment, allow your body to start to naturally repair and heal. The other thing I want you to notice is that there's some movement there. That small amount of movement is what's needed to hydrate and nourish these discs. These discs are cartilage, the same material as your ear, and they're cushions between the bone, and they cause a space for the nerve. What would happen if somebody had a misalignment of their spine and they didn't go to a chiropractor? And now they're taking Advil and Tylenol and Norco and Oxycodone to mask the symptoms of their pain. The nerve is still pinched or causing interference, but now the brain can't feel it. So what happens is the body will start to lay down excess bone in that area to stabilize it because now it's an instability to the body. So let me show you what that looks like. What happens is the body will start to develop these bone spurs and these bone spurs grow like hooks and claws. They grow together because they're trying to stabilize this area to the point where there's no more motion in this bone anymore and these discs no longer get the nourishment and hydration that they need. So they start to desiccate and as they dry, it causes more pressure on the nerve because really there's no more space for that nerve. So this is really what we're trying to avoid in our office. This is happening to all of us, but that rate of decay can be slowed down if your body is in proper balance and proper alignment. I'd like to end this workshop with a story about one of my patients. Her name is Rita. Rita grew up in South America and as a little girl, she was diagnosed with a condition known as scoliosis. She would tell us that the kids would make fun of her because of the way that she would walk and she didn't know why she wasn't like the other kids. Well, she did make it to the United States and she had an MRI of her back. But sadly, the MRI revealed that she had several disc herniations, which were the cause for the burning, searing pain that was going down the back of her leg all the way to her foot. Rita was looking for an answer of something other than drugs and surgery. She came to our office for a consultation, and after carefully looking at her x-rays and her MRIs and her medical records, I decided to accept her case in our office. Rita came from Highland Park three days a week without a car, taking the metro to get to her appointments, but it paid off. Now Rita is doing wonderful. She's actually an actress now, and she made a YouTube video on our YouTube channel. You can see it about her experience here 
at Salsi Chiropractic. Why am I telling you this story? I'm telling this because maybe you know somebody that's suffering, that's in pain, that's lost hope, that's depressed, and they've given up on life. They can't do the things that they used to do, and they want to do them again. I know because I was in that state myself. So what I've done over the last 27 years for people who have attended my workshop is I offer them a gift. And the gift is actually for your friends and family. Let me ask you a question. How many of you would save someone else's life without risking your own? Of course you would. That's why we make a special offer for anyone who's watched our workshop. What we do for your friends and family only is for the next seven days, they can come to our office, they can get the consultation, the examination, their first adjustment, and the report of findings all at my expense. That's $135 worth of care at no charge to them. This is a chance for them to see if chiropractic is right for them and if chiropractic can help them. My purpose here is to educate and adjust as many families as possible toward optimal health through natural chiropractic care. That's the mission I'm on for the next five years. And I'd like you to be part of that mission by helping me get the word out from what you've learned today so we can help other people live a healthy, happy life. Thanks for watching and I look forward to helping you journey for chiropractic care.